Hi, and thanks for joining me. In this segment today, we're going to talk about some changes that I recently made to my pixel art template that I posted back in March. For those of you that follow the blog, you might remember back in March, I posted an article on how to create pixel art using a Google Sheet. Now that required that you set up your cells so that it created a little grid with pixel size cells and then using some conditional formatting tools so that when a value was added to the cell, it changed color. But this wasn't very tablet friendly, so I decided to show you some additions that you can make to this template. Now, while the chart over here at the left shows you what colors will be added to the cells depending on the numbers, one of the things you can do to make it easier is add a drop down menu to these cells using data validation tools. If you just go to the data menu and choose validation, then we're going to choose the same range as our conditional formatting for the colors which is C1 through Z27 and we're going to tell it that we want to use a list of items and we're just going to set the numbers 1 through 10 in there and you have to separate these by comma as it shows so we'll do 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So by adding these numbers and clicking save now each cell will have a drop down menu where you can choose the number and as you choose the number the conditional formatting rules automatically assign the color that we've decided over here from the last time. Now if you need to go back and review the rules on how to set up conditional formatting you can always find my article here or you can watch the video on YouTube at this link. Well hopefully this makes this a little bit more iPad friendly so that if you have students that are using your pixel art template on an iPad they can just choose a number from a drop down instead of having the keyboard pop up constantly. And that will make your pixel art a little bit more fun and a little bit easier to use. Well again thanks for joining me and if you have questions about anything Google just check out my website at www.techiecoach.com.